Hey friend, what's up? So in this video, we're going to cover a controlled deception list. I picked this list in particular because I feel like the overall narrative is to get to Mythic as a free-to-play player, you have to play aggro, um, and that's just not true. So this list is under $40, it leverages the core set and the Immortal Judgment set. It's actually really good and competitive, um, I'm enjoying it. So let's take a look. Okay, so this is the free-to-play list I've been playing. It is $35.98 as of now. Um, it's very strong. I have about 10 games on it. I've swapped a few cards out. I tried Double Dealer. I believe Kai was in the list for a while. I wound up adding a second Umber Arrow and being pretty happy with it. So I have about an 80% win rate overall, changing a few different cards. With this iteration, I have 100%, but it's only two games, so it's not a very large sample size. Anyway, so we have Core, Divine Order, Mortal Judgment, and, and that's about it. Um, the list is really strong, and the strongest cards, in my opinion, are from the core set, which are cards you can get by playing the game for free. So, this monster on our top end is Witherfinger. It's a 7 mana 8 6. It puts the three strongest creatures to sleep and gives them burn. Um, so, it's a good way to retake board or stall and just establish like a giant body. Um, and so, often referred to as the free to play demo, Helmna. Is a legendary from the Mortal Judgment set. Comes down as a 7 mana 2 8. It heals 3 to all characters. So any injured creature on the board and your god will all be healed up to 3. And for every point of health, she heals extra attack. So, Ceres, for every point of health your god is missing, below 10, it reduces its mana cost and sets your god's health to 10. So you want to play this at the very end, like right before you die, right? Uh, it'll give you health, it'll establish your body. So Rapture Dance, um, deal damage equal to the number of enemy creatures on the board. So if they have six creatures, you deal six to each enemy creature. Um, really strong, reliable against Zoo. Cutthroat, the bane of every control deck's existence. Target opponent reveals their entire hand. You get all of the information of what they're holding, which is huge, right? If you're playing a tournament, write it down. Um, pull one of their cards to your hand. So not only do you get to see everything they have for five mana, you get to take one of their cards. And so the value of knowing what your opponent has is huge, but the value of getting to take their best card is just, it's just so good. Ludi is dedicant. This is from the Divine Order set. Very strong. Uh, it is, I, I think it's, I think it's severely underrated. It is a three mana, three, three. It has Blessed, right? And so Blessed essentially gives you three options they're all randomly generated, and you can take favor from your opponent, you can give favor to yourself, you can swap the Sanctum, you can steal favor. Uh, it's a really great mechanic, and you can even use it for lethal. You're able to push 3 damage, you give your opponent 9 favor, deal 3 damage to them. It's just super versatile, and whenever you use your god power, you get a random card from your opponent's deck. So if you take Orpheus Distraction on 5, you play this, and you hide it. Um, if they don't have... AOE board clear, you get to steal at least two cards, which is just such a huge tempo swing, being that you're also getting a 3-3 three, three body. Next is Lethargy Mage, it's a 3 mana 3-2, three, roar, give negative 1 strength to each enemy creature. This is really good into zoo decks, um, this synergizes really well with Bound by Our Will and Umber Arrow, also helps with Hit and Rush, it's a Bound by Our Will, take control of an enemy creature with 1 strength or less, so you have Lethargy Mage, you have Blade Borrower, you have a lot of ways to reduce the attack of creatures and steal them. Blade Borrower, give negative two strength to an enemy creature, and it has an echo, so you can play it twice. Uh, the echo is a one mana, one one, um, but it has the same roar effect. Counterfeit. Counterfeit is a three mana spell, and you steal your opponent's relic uh, from their hand, which is great. So if their relic has blitz or god blitz, the turn you take it, you can either go face or trade with creatures. Um, it's really strong, it's gonna help out with, with war, and with um, infinite durability relics, it's not remove durability, it's steal. Uh, it just destroys it, which is fantastic. Guild Enforcer is a 5 mana 3 5 with 1 armor. It is very strong. It has frontline. Um, if your opponent cannot destroy it or go around it, they're going to have to run all of their creatures in. It is a great tool to help deal with zoo decks. Armor Lurker, debatably one of the best 2 drops in the game. It's up there with Underbrush Boar and Pyramid Warden. It's a 2 mana, 3, 1, but it has 2 armor, and it comes down as hidden. So it stays hidden permanently, 
and every time it loses hidden, it loses one armor, right? So the first time coming out, you can you make a favorable trade, right? You can kill another two drop. Stone skin poison is one of the best one mana spells in the game, in my opinion. It is a one mana give plus three order and two burn to a creature. So you can go around if your opponent plays two front lines, you can put stone skin poison on one, or if you just distract the other, go face for lethal if you need to. Um, and ward doesn't block order, so Highborn Knight, Polyhymnia, any body for the front line and ward, you can go right around it. It's fantastic. Gleam Weaver, also really great. It is a 1 minute 2 2, and it allows you to remove two cards from either void. So if your opponent's playing Anubians, if they're playing Control Light, if they're playing um, Spell Damage Magic, and they're planning on running Pyrrhic Knowledge, you can burn their Worm Breaths, you can burn anything. Yeah, in either void. It's fantastic. A uh, really strong card. Good against a handful of decks. So Patient Pickpocket is a 1 mana 1-3. One, when it loses order, it copies a card from your opponent's hand and puts it in your hand. Very strong card. Really annoying and hard to deal with. Um, it's a good way to start off the game with an extra card. So as far as god powers go, I normally take Orpheus Distraction. The only time I take Thievery uh, is when I'm playing against Magic. I'm able to get uh, 1 mana Magic cards, as well as Creatures and Spells, which actually pretty strong big fan of the deck it's really strong and it does really well um I, I was glad to find a control deck that isn't expensive and is good so um let's try a couple games and see how it goes this is a control deception list I'm running guild enforcers and a few of the other neutral cards helmna <clears throat> hmm ah okay interesting Umber Licker Bound by your Will. Mm. For how high our top end is, we actually have a really good draw this game, so I'm kind of interested to see how it goes. <laughs> um, yeah, this is actually really good. Okay, this dies, bummer. So we can... I'd like to set up for an inexpensive Bound by Your Will. I'd also like to establish board a bit. Let's see. So ideally we get um, three attack creature. Can steal it over two turns, which would be nice. Okay. And this is really huge, says the safety net. Um, it's going to make this unreliable, right? So it's marked it's gonna be 50-50. And we are setting up for an easy steal. Nice. Perfect. So we have two, we may as well take one now. We get the afterlife, which is really good. I don't want to give them any more favor. And so when this dies, we get the 1-1 one, one Amazon recruit. Although, I mean, not super high value as a 0-1. We are taking board away from them and kind of just being annoying. A four four, that's fine. It's a really low value. Hmm. Perfect. So bound by our will is kind of gone. We get a free trade this way, um, or free ish. And we don't leave anything on the board for them. I am at a pips, which is a bummer. I do have Rapture Dance in two turns, so we're in a pretty decent spot, although not in a great spot. 
but this list is under $40, so I'm not expecting a whole bunch. We did go second, which is kind of bad, and they're drawing cards for us, which I love to see. Mm, that tells us a lot about their hand. It's probably not very good. Um, if they're taking card draw over Rune of Strength or saving up for Rune of Fire, wow, yeah, their hand must be awful. That's their high roll. All of those are low rolls. Let's go. So we need a 17. Uh, we have three, so we can get 12 more. We can get to 15, which is good, but not enough. Hmm. Maybe we're okay just getting to 15. This just makes our whole board a bit better. Um, this dies to Lightning Strike now, which is great. Um, double front line, both with armor, which is really strong. If we could have had a bit more favor, Rune of Fire would have been nice. This is still at full health, but I, I, I like this line. I don't know. So Mordo's Daughter? Reflection Elementalist. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. This kind of puts us in a weird spot. We can't really deal with um, the things. And I don't think I want to trade anything out. Hmm. So we kind of just have a really weird turn where I think we just go face two, four, five. Mm. So unless they have the hunt or enchanted vines, I don't see how they're going to get through. But we're not killing anything, which is a bummer. That doesn't really matter. That's kind of a problem. This trait's here, which is fine. Okay, so we bound by our will here. Hmm. So this will be interesting because this should trigger at least once. Um, because it's an Amazon attacking. Either one is kind of a win. That's huge. Do I get favor? I do. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Two, four, five. Maybe I'll wait a turn. Um, the Rune of Fire is actually going to be really strong, and I can't use the Rune of Sight if I get it. So Archimonian Onslaught is a bummer. We have Hunting Trap, so not too big of a deal. If they play Sudden Bloom, that's kind of a lot of damage. Um, we take 12. That's half of our health, although we can kill it with Hunting Trap fairly easily. Get Rune of Fire. And we have Cut Cutthroat also. Okay, so... It's fine. Does this get Twin Strike? It does. Oof. Whoa. Hmm. So Rapture Dance kills a few, but not enough. Wither Fingers puts these to sleep, which is good, but not enough um, so we bump rapture dance and take five by rune of fire I think that's fine I wish uh, if we had stone skin poison or something like that we could get through and 
make the trades, but I think this is fine. I don't think we die here. Um, we might get close, but we definitely don't die. We have Ceres also, which is really good, um, and we still have Helmna. We really want that to go, I guess, here, right? Hmm. Now we're getting to the point where maybe we end up dying. Six. Hmm. So these both fall to sleep. They die next turn. This is not asleep, but it has burn. So six. Um, Arc Marine Onslaught makes it nine. Or five. Maybe we don't die. It's going to be close, though. They have a lot of burst here. We can't heal ourselves. Whatever we take. Chimera does nine also. Mm. Nice. Oh. So we're in a pretty good spot. Um, I'm, I'm actually not worried at all. Amazons don't have reach. They need to. They need to stick the board. But these two are dying. Hmm. So they have nothing in hand. I don't think there's anything that kills us, but we'll see. So Archimonian Onslaught gives three attacks, so it goes to eight. We don't die. Hmm. They can God Power trade. I, I think they have to if they don't get anything too good. We took their Lightning Strike. Chimera. Whoa. Are we dead here? So close to being dead. Um, so maybe uh, we can't kill them anymore. Let's see. We Sarah's first because we're afraid. Just in case we get favor or something. Um, hmm. Sure, so everything's more expensive now, which is kind of a bummer. But we get to steal something from their deck, which is good. Okay. Yeah, so we're in a really good spot. Um, yeah, so for a $40 deck, I think I think we're okay. And we... Okay. Did it. Nice, nice, nice. GG. Play them at the light deck, though. We're going to try our $40 deception list and see how it goes. If I remember correctly, they had like an odd list that had Ceres um, and a few other cards that generally aren't in card draw magic, but uh, they have blades, which means our guild enforcers won't be quite as good, but I'm excited to see how it goes. It'll be interesting. Once they're done looking up our list. Um... Okay, maybe it's a different list then. Hmm. Oof. So Bound by Our Will would be nice. Um, or even a Patient Pickpocket. Pickpocket, just something to get started early. Okay. So I don't know if they took 4C to try and set up a combo, or... I don't know. Maybe they change lists. Or maybe it's a different person and I'm just super wrong. <laughs> it's happened before. Hmm. So. It's actually pretty good here. Um, next turn we can Lethargy Mage and trade. Uh, they bump here. 
they don't have ping so this is this is actually really annoying um and by ping i mean mage bolt they took 4c god power so we actually have a really good have a really good start and we're in a pretty good spot um, if they are running a combo deck we have cutthroat which is really good And so I'm not so much trying to kill them as I'm trying to not die. Okay, so if I remember correctly, they have Palace Wand, and last time it was kind of a nightmare. I'm gonna... Hmm. Yeah, I guess I want that. So I can't do anything with Counterfeit. Um, well, that's equipped. But it has God Blitz, and I can I can swing the turn I equip it. So hopefully we make trade into here. I think we cut there out on five. Tracking Bolt, interesting. Hmm. So no Palace Wand. Um. Yet. Uh, Dedicant. It's not bad, but it's not really what I want. Um, I want um, Bound by Our Will. 2, 4, 5. If it's the list they ran earlier, they have Blades, and I think that's what we're going to save our Hunting Traps for. I don't know what their top end is, or even if it is the same list. I think it's the same list, they just took a different God Power. Interesting. One stone skin is more than enough. Okay. Awesome. So spell boost on our warded and protected creature is actually really good, and the 4C is really helpful. We're able to send things that aren't necessarily bad, but that we don't really need back. Um, it's really good. Sure. Rare is good. Hmm. <clears throat> Two, four, six. Um, hmm. Okay, so get a spell or thing. I'm um, hopefully next turn we'll be able to cutthroat. Hmm. This is actually not terrible. Just because they don't have ping and it has ward, it's just hard to deal with. Um, but draw is nice also. I don't really want to draw on the bottom of my deck though, because I don't need it there. Let's go face, two, four, six, seven. Awesome, two, four, six. Slip it out immediately. Okay. So we got a lot of value out of our makeshift shiv. We're gonna need a lot of value. Let's see. Yes, that's good. So we can stone skin this. Hmm. So maybe we bump here first just so it dies. Stone skin. And we cutthroat. They only have four cards in hand. Maybe this is better. Two, four, five. We can take the heal. That's going to be important as we try to not die. Hmm. So we trade. Cutthroat. Hmm. Yes. Okay. We cutthroat this turn. 
for sure to get the discounted. I mean, I assume it's a. Uh... We don't have anything great in our void though, which is kind of a bummer. Hmm. Yes, we like Helma. They played this at zero. Okay, so we don't we don't we don't cut through here. Um. Although maybe we blade borrower, just so our things don't take damage. Let's see, two, four, six, seven. Get a little bit. Um, we get a spell. So three, four, five, and we get something back. Okay. Hmm. So I don't know how much I like the line we took. Hmm. So if we don't play the bug, everything takes hmm, a lot less damage. So maybe maybe that was a bit questionable, but that's okay. We have Helmet next turn to heal if we need it, but our Rune of Life with Helmet is going to be huge. Um, we'll be able to see why it's such a good combo. Hmm. Sure. Vasting Wand. Okay, so they're going to push a decent amount of damage face, which is a bummer. And that is also the bummer. Wither finger is good. Two, four, six, seven. Let's see what we get. So we're gonna have a lot of spell boost. I just don't. Huh. I have anything to use it on, really. Hmm. That's not gonna happen. Okay. I don't know if they can kill us from here. They haven't discounted anything and they don't have that much in hand. Blade is annoying. Not that big of a deal. So I think this turn we hunting trap and then we cutthroat to steal what they have. Sure, maybe it is a combo deck. Um, this way both of the, the bug things go face. Pings. That's huge. Um, yeah, and I think we just went here. We don't have a way to deal with the board. We're gonna hit him in the face for seven, eight. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's a pretty big one. Okay, that's huge. Good for them. And they don't swing. <laughs> So I know we were going to do the special Helma thing, but we're just getting so much value out of this. Um, I think this is fine. This just guarantees that the extra one ping goes face. Hmm. Uh, 
Alright, so our free-to-play deception deck is doing really well. So the ancient text here, or our face? Um, they go for the spell boost, understandable. Hmm. So this is going to make winning harder. I mean, we can gamble. I don't think we gamble here. So we give them sleep. Um, if we cutthroat there, we're kind of in a weird spot. And I don't mind not swinging. We probably should, but they don't have Mage Bolt. And so keeping these alive is good. Unbound Flames. That's a big deal. So they wipe out their whole entire board, and we get something back when this dies from burn, which could be a Wither Finger. Like, and that's the downside of a Pyramid Warden, right? Uh, 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 that's super annoying though. No. Alright, so we are going to see if we can find Lethal in their hand. Hey! Okay, so, pretty strong list. Um, I'm personally a big fan. Okay, so let me know what you think. If you have any questions, um, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, friends.